Paul Brennan with that report is live on Gilio Island for us now. Paul, let's talk about the audio tape first. We heard it many, many times over the course of the day. It loses none of its impact. This awful thought, especially for the, the people who have survived this, to know that their captain wanted out. Well, indeed. I mean, the, the big question uh, here is whether um, more lives could have been saved, uh, it, whether the, the number dead could have been reduced had the captain stayed on board the ship and uh, taken his responsibilities and, and uh, actually supervised the evacuation effort rather than, as it seems, abandoning the ship rather hastily and then practically refusing to go back on board despite the Coast Guard getting more and more impatient and exasperated and effectively ordering him back on the ship and the captain refusing to comply with that order. Obviously that's a matter for the prosecutor here uh, in Italy and that's obviously going to take some time to uh, apportion the blame but it's, it's really not looking very good for the captain. It's very difficult to have sympathy for somebody uh, given the fact that so many people are, are now known to have died but it does seem he simply froze in the given the enormity of what was happening to him on Friday night, uh, and he just couldn't cope with the, uh, with the events that were unfolding around him. Paul, the rescue effort, uh, we heard the death toll went up by five. And what is the situation with the number of missing left? Well, the number of missing has proved a, a little bit fluid, to be perfectly honest. Uh, as of uh, yesterday, uh, uh, Monday, they, they were talking about 15 people being missing, 15, 16. Uh, then it leapt to uh, 29 uh, this morning, and, and now uh, they're talking at around 25, 24, 25. And that's because uh, various different countries, nationalities and, and, and embassies have been uh, chipping in, saying, actually, you know, we, we've still got X number of people missing and, and they haven't been accounted for yet. Um, the fact that they found five more, uh, frankly, does take the, uh, the number of dead so far uh, up to 11. It, it is distressing news. Uh, the details are, as we know it at this early stage, is that it was four women, sorry, four men uh, and one woman. Uh, they were found in the stern of the boat uh, down towards the back and they were, we believe, in, a, in one of the muster points there where they, uh, and they were all, uh, we're told, um, wearing their life jackets. So they, they would have been waiting desperately for rescue and it was a rescue that simply never came. They, they, they obviously have, uh, have drowned as the boat went down. Paul Brennan there well, with a live update from Giglio Island. Thank you, Paul. Just as we were speaking to Paul, these pictures came through. Uh, latest pictures coming of the captain, Francisco Schettino, or Schettino, must check that, uh, arriving back at prison after his latest round of questioning. So much scrutiny on this man, particularly after, as Paul was saying, that audio tape came out a little earlier in the day. That's the captain of the ship there heading back to prison.